Hi guys, so two videos in a row in the dress. So clearly it's still the week before the wedding, haven't gone yet, but I decided to have another video because I had more to talk about because I haven't been on here in so long. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is another kitchen wonder and that is oatmeal. So I know, kind of seems a little bit weird. I love oatmeal for the skin. Especially if you have dry skin, I know that like the seasons are changing again and my skin is definitely starting to get drier. Oatmeal is amazing. Now there are two main ways that I use this product and I'm just gonna like explain them both. So one is on my face. I use it as a little bit of a mask. It also works as a very very gentle exfoliant. So for people that have very sensitive skin this would work really well for you. It kind of has a similar texture once you due to it when I'm going to explain in a few minutes, um, to I think it's Dermalogica's daily exfoliant that's kind of like a powder and then you add a little bit of water to it and then you rub it on your face. So th that it has a similar texture to this oatmeal concoction that I'm going to explain to you. And then also I like to use it in the tub. Now because it can get very very messy, I like to take like a cheesecloth. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about because I don't have one to show you as an example. But anything um, that'll stop that oatmeal from like seeping into the tub and making a mess but will still allow it to like, you know, its properties to get out into the water. So something kind of like porous I guess is that the right word anyway so then you take a little bit of oatmeal and you would put it and then tie it into a pouch and then drop it in the tub and then what that does is it allows like the moisturizing properties of the oatmeal to like get into the water while you're soaking and it really is like beneficial for your skin it really helps to moisturize your skin a lot without creating a huge mess so you don't want to just dump oatmeal in the tub please don't do that you'll have like a bowl of oatmeal in your tub it'll be very hard to clean and it is very very bad for your drain so like don't do it. If you're going to use it in the tub, make sure you you have it being held in some sort of cloth or, or something, whatever you can come up with. Now for your face, um, what you kind of need to do to get the real benefits of it for your face, and I do this even for the tub, but I mean, I don't think it's as necessary for the tub, but for your face is you want to grind it up. Now I'll just show you what that looks like. I have it in a little Tupperware container that I can seal, but I don't know if you can tell it's just kind of like a powder now there's some bigger chunks in there because I got lazy and didn't do as great of a job with this batch but I like to take it um, in a coffee grinder actually you can use any sort of blender if you have like a what are those things called a magic bullet or a coffee grinder uh, to me it works perfectly but I mean anything that'll grind it into a very fine powder like this so then I just take a little bit in my hand. You don't need a lot. Just like, I'll show you. Oh, too much. Just like that much. I just made a huge mess on my desk, so the things we do for YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so you just take that much and then just take a little bit of water in your other hand and just add it until you make a paste and then just massage it very gently onto your face. Now that the massaging action will because you've ground it up into smaller particles, kind of does a very gentle exfoliation that would be gentle enough to use every day, I assure you, even for the most sensitive of skin types. And then I leave it on for about 10 minutes. It just kind of soaks into my skin and just really plumps it up. I find that after I, I take it off, you just notice like a really healthy glow and like plumping. Not, not fat plumping, I know you guys know what I mean. Like healthy, you know, your skin looks really healthy and, and um, Plump. I don't know another word that I can use to describe what I'm talking about, but I hope you guys know what I mean. Anyway, so most of us have oatmeal just sitting around in our cupboards. I mean, it doesn't need to be a specific brand. I just have one of those giant bags of oatmeal in my cupboard, and I just take like a cup at a time and just grind it. And then this Tupperware like locks so that I know it's not getting like moist. I can leave it in the bathroom. I just leave it there. And sometimes I throw it on while I'm in the shower. It kind of smells really good too. I mean, if you like oatmeal, if it gets in your mouth, it's not a big deal. Anyway, some people also add honey to it, which you could definitely do. I've already made a video about how much I love honey for the face. So, I mean, if you want to do that, sometimes I do that. Usually I do one or the other, but by all means, like mix them up, try it out, see how it Guys, goes. I hope that works as well for you as it does for me. Definitely try it out. Let me know how it goes and I'll talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.